This is a video of my side valve engine, which I built totally from bar stock with no castings. Uh, it's a side valve or flathead engine with uh, dual independent camshafts. Um, you'll see in this picture what appears to be an oil filler tube or vent in the side of the engine. Anyone who plans on building this engine, I found out after I had built it that that vent was not really necessary. So basically all that brass piece that you see in the side is, is a plug to plug the hole which I had machined in the crankcase. And I left it out of the plans because it's not necessary. Uh, you can see the 3 inch cooling fan which is out of a computer that I put on there driven by an o-ring drive belt. It directs a very nice stream of cool air over the cylinder head and the cylinder to keep the engine cool while it's running and it's very, very effective. The gas tank which you see over here contains enough fuel to run this little engine for about two to two and a half hours. I run a very slight bit of two cycle engine oil with it because I have a Viton O-ring on there and it requires a bit of lubrication. If I move around to this angle here, you can see the lifters doing their lifter dance. Now they are operated by the dual independent camshafts. You can see the adjusters for these camshafts where my finger is pointing. Uh, I'm able to independently set the valve timing on both the exhaust and the intake, which is basically what will govern the speed of how fast this engine will rev. I'm not sure if you can see it very well there, but the automotive ignition points and condenser appear. And I have the points mounted on a bracket which I can rotate about its center when the engine is running, which allows me to dial in the ignition timing while the engine is running, which is a really a big bonus when you're doing the initial engine setup. Uh, I'm running the Chuck Fellows style carburetor on here, which is designed by Chuck Fellows. It's a great little carb for this style of engine. I'm idling here at about 780 RPM, and the way I have it set up, the top end It's around 2,000 RPM. I could set it up to go much faster than that, but actually I prefer to see my engines running slowly and dependably, more like an industrial engine. So I'm sure if anyone chooses to build this, they'll get a great deal of satisfaction from it. It's not a terribly easy build, but it's not a terribly difficult build. I would suggest that you have one or two IC engines under your belt before attempting to build this. And if you do build it, I'd love to hear about it. It's, it's a great little engine. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, there is nothing spectacularly difficult anywhere in the entire build. And thank you all for having a look.